TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kickkickcake.com. We are not live though. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, man, this is the channel. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, anything that doesn't make it to the to the main channels, it'll be on here. Or uh, any highlights, they'll be on this channel above us. Um, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. We post five days a week, Monday through Friday. Remember, Top Boy is about to start. Come on now. Get in while you can. At least get in for Top Boy. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, we do got merch. Big merch on deck. Salute, salute, salute for everybody who bought some. Anyway, the links to this is all below. I mean, not all below, but all in the description below. Uh, you click link tree. You'll see some down there that says link tree. Click it, and boom, you in there. All of this will pop up. This is 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 I is it Islington or Islington? I don't know. Y'all see it? Is that word murder and Nottingham Carnival stabbing? Okay, so I guess this is an update on what was going on at the carnival, the stabbings and things of that nature. But you know, Scar City keep us up to date. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Facts. A mother and her child walk past the latest murder scene in Islington after a spate of violent attacks across the city over the weekend. A murder investigation was launched in Islington after a male was found fatally stabbed on the street and police were called to reports of the incident. I just want to let y'all know in Chicago there was 47 sh people shot over the weekend. Over the three-day week. Oh, it's not even over yet. It's Monday. So that number is still going up. And on Axminster anyway. Road at 11.39 on the 13th of August. The police and ambulance service attended and a male was found at the scene with serious injuries. And despite the best efforts of the paramedics, he was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. He has been named as Yaye Ahmed, who is 23 years old and from the local area. His family have been contacted and informed, but his formal identification is yet to take place. The murder investigation is developing quickly, but no arrests have been made yet. Detective Chief Inspector Neil John said, at this early stage, we're still establishing a timeline of events that led up to the murder. A post-mortem examination is due to take place in the next several days, and Superintendent Jack Robinson from the Metropolitan North Command Unit said, I am saddened to hear of another life lost on the streets of our capital. Yeah, I think this is a random, random attack, or is this, like, calculated? What I'm asking is, do you think the suspect was involved? Like, involved in some stuff that would lead him to be emmed? Local people will notice a visible increase in police patrols in the coming days, and we will continue to support the community throughout this investigation. So thank you to Dave Nathan for his coverage from the scene, and we'll definitely keep you updated on that story and any charges that follow. And some other news coming from London as well. I don't know. Just for me, like, I don't feel like no... no yes, okay, let me let me say this correctly. Now, there are times where stray, stray, stray crocodile teeth go and hit innocent bystanders and things of that nature. But I feel like, especially in London, if somebody goes through the trouble and gets a, 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 a firearm, we already know what comes with that like as far as jail time if somebody goes through the trouble of that and then fires it on somebody it's not by it's not by it just it's not like oh no this was an innocent person they did not like no i don't believe that maybe it's because i'm so jaded because of chicago but you know chicago has a lot of innocent people that but but like in london as far as london i don't think that's happening to take that risk when getting caught with a firearm and then go hit like a random person for what? Like this, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but like, well, this week, R.I.P. And us in the Notting Hill Carnival with thousands attending to celebrate. And also the police have now released the arrests that have taken oh, okay. place. Okay, we released the, the arrest. Okay. There has been a report of eight people that have been stabbed. And one of eight. these incidents took place on Warfield Road, just off Harrow Road, shortly after 9 p.m. And a male was in a serious condition after suffering multiple stab wounds. He's aged 29 years old. And a police and the security operation saw thousands of officers from the 
Metropolitan City Police and British Transport Police be deployed over the weekend to help keep people safe during the carnival. In total, there were 308 arrests for a various offence. Wow. 308 arrests, man. 308 people that came to the carnival to be to, 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 to get negative. ...that we're discussing a sec. All the women that could be got here, y'all was in there getting negative. But firstly, police at this scene were scouring for evidence and they discovered bullets as well. Thank you to Dave Nathan oh, wow. for his coverage. And it shows the police actually picking up bullet casings off the street. And oh yeah, because there was shootings there, right? Shows the severity of the situation that occurred. The victim did suffer a stab wound, but gunshots were reported to have taken place as well. The police have said in a statement that there were several other stabbings hours before this incident and one of them was in Ladbrook Grove and a 19-year-old male was stabbed at 8pm on Monday. He's in a serious but stable condition in hospital. Six other people aged 18, 19, 20, 25, 28 and 40 were arrested in separate incidents throughout the evening. On Sunday, there were 110 arrests for possession of offensive weapons, assaults on police officers, possession of drugs and also sexual offences. One male sustained a non-life-threatening slash wound and declined any assistance from the emergency services. Police working on the perimeter of the carnival were gathering information quickly and discovered that a group may have been in possession of a firearm. When they intercepted and searched the group, the firearm was seized and a man was arrested in connection with it. On Monday, there were 198 arrests for a similar range of offences. 50 officers were reported to have been injured at the carnival over Dang. the weekend. And this includes police that were kicked, spat, bitten, had been headbutted, and also one sexual assault. Man, man, they was on timing at the carnival. I talk about three magnums and you just don't care no more. That's crazy. They continue to receive information and are making arrests in the coming days. Detective Commissioner yeah, they gonna, A. They're definitely going to catch everybody. There's one thing I wouldn't do out here, man. It's is want to be in any trouble because the cctv the the the, the just how how intricate it is like they catching everybody everybody's getting arrested <laughs> he'd added a can unless you had a mask on it's over who oversaw the policing operation said it's regrettable that for a second year in a row the monday night at carnival has been marred with serious violence nobody that's how it is here though man if any festival not festival like any like what I would like, like the taste of Chicago. That thing, it used to go on for a week. Now it's gone to three days. The last day is always the worst day. Never go on the last day. Go, get in there the first day, have a good time, and be done. You stay there that last day, it's over. Disputes that Carnival is part of the cultural calendar in the city, and it is, but there is a lot of violence that comes associated with it. Many stabbings, uh, multiple stabbings, sexual assaults, and attacks on police officers. In total, the reports and the police said that 57 officers were assaulted during the weekend. There was two robberies, two incidents of criminal damage, four drink driving, uh, three thefts from person, 24 public order offences, 71 offensive weapons, there were 60 arrests for drugs, 20 sexual assaults, 9 GBHs, Dang, 9 common assaults, uh, 2 psychoactive drugs and 43 other offences. So two psychoactive, they went off the shrooms, huh? Thankfully, nobody has lost their life this weekend, but at the same time, it does highlight the day. Cop looking like he ain't never seen a bullet before. Dangers that are sometimes associated to big events that attract large crowds. And I really want to hear what people have to say on that story. Well, here's what I have to say, Scar. Um, me coming from Chicago sounds like a good time. I'll be there next year. It's unfortunate for all the assaults, but I will be in the building next year. Without Unequivocally. I'll be at every festival, music fest, wireless. I'll be also here. That's all I got to say. I don't want to see them doing this. Dang, they got the... What they got up? See, look at them saying how intricate this is. You're not getting away. Don't get in trouble and drop your ID. It's over. It's over. Tilo, leave a like. Damn, she thick up there? That's a. <laughs> hold on. Alright. Tilo, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, and go.